Hello, my name is James, and welcome to Mirror Domains. Today we're going to be talking about Wonder Woman, and I'm going to be blunt. I have no idea what her origin story is supposed to be from the comics, so my expectations for this going in were not all that high. My initial impression is that I really enjoyed what I saw. The imagery that they were able to capture with her in action and the Amazons too. I mean, with them flying up in the air and twisting around, all that stuff looked great. And based on that, I would have to say that this movie is worth watching. The real standout here is the direction. I loved all the production design, all the costume design was really well done. I already said that the action looked great. I liked the chemistry between Gal Gadot and Chris Pine. There was some subtle humor in the script that had my audience laughing and I appreciated that because it gave it some charm. It had some nice slowdown moments where they were able to develop the relationship between Diana and Steve Trevor. It had a message about war that I really liked and it didn't beat you over the head with it. Oh, what did she look like in the suit? She looked fantastic. Oh yeah, I can't wait to see it, <laughs> but you can't. All right, the first act of this film is really well done. It does explain how this is tied into the Batman universe. So, you know, the Batman Superman universe, and it does it in a clever way. So I really appreciated that. And it reveals her coming of age story in Themyscira. I think I pronounced that right. Connie Nielsen and Robin Wright have small roles, but they make a huge impact. They do a really good job of selling you that these women, Amazons, are warriors. And, and you buy it. You buy it. I love the opening of this movie. Moving on to some things that I felt were a little bit underdeveloped. Some of the reasoning as to the logic as to why some things were happening. Without giving too much away about the plot, you just have to accept that this is a comic book movie and things have to happen a little bit quicker so that it progresses the plot faster than it normally would in a dramatic piece. I saw this in 3D and what they tried to achieve with the 3D worked for me with, you know, arrows coming out at you. But some of the CG matte work stood out like a sore thumb. Uh, now, you could just say that, you know, it was because of the 3D, and I think it was. Uh, I bet it probably looks fantastic in 2D. I remember, seeing, <clears throat> I remember seeing Mad Max Fury Road in 3D and thinking the same thing. You know, some of the matte work looks a little shoddy, but then I saw it again in 2D and it looked fine. So I'm betting in 2D that Wonder Woman looks fantastic. All right, here's my score sheet. And I feel like I'm being a little bit reserved with it, but I feel like it it's a fairly good score. Uh, oh, if you don't know how this works, then look up in the cards because it'll explain each of them every one of these categories and how I break it down and adding it all up. That is 8.5 out of 10 for Wonder Woman. 8.5, almost a nine, almost a nine. I really wanted to, but I had to think about how do I'm, how am I gonna feel about it in a month? So it may go up to a nine, who knows? Overall, I really enjoyed it. And I'd say it's totally worth the look. Gal Gadot, does fine with this role. Put your reservations aside with her acting ability. The script jumps out at you. And I like the camaraderie of this group that they assemble in this, that you see in that uh, black and white picture that Bruce has. Uh, and I 
as I said, I saw this in 3D. I can't wait to see it again in 2D. All right, that's it. But in 3D, I imagine you can see the richness and the fullness of the Amazons. <laughs> yeah. If you've liked what you've seen, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. All right. I know that there is a Native American character in this, and they call him Chief. Now, I know that's a little bit crass for some of us, but I didn't really take offense to it. I mean, I know. I know it can be, but uh, it's a comic book movie, and it wasn't in your face, so I gave it a pass. Wow.